Falcon 9 is configured for flight. T minus 10. 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. The liftoff of the Falcon 9 takes flight with the Dragon spacecraft destined for the one-of-a-kind laboratory in microgravity, the International Space Station. And the Falcon 9 has cleared the tower. 39A, launch pad, post launch operations. Copy, we'll go. Six seconds after liftoff. Two Followed seconds later, later, after by two seconds later, we'll go through max Q, which is the maximum dynamic pressure on the view. Power launch now. Standing by for Falcon 9 to go transonic. Just heard the cue. The cue for that. The vehicle has gone through max cue. Next major milestone will be the shutdown of the nine Merlin engines. Scheduled for two minutes twenty-seven seconds into flight. Less than a minute away from main engine cutoff. MVAC engine chill has begun. After our main engine cutoff, the first stage will perform a boost back burn about 15 seconds later and head back to nearby Cape Canaveral Air Force Station landing zone one. And on NASA television, we'll be showing you the first stage landing as well as the continuation of the second stage taking Dragon to orbit. Station one jettison will begin at two minutes, 29 seconds. Vehicle flying down the nominal, we have Miko. And we have Miko. Stage Main separation confirmed. You can see the stage separation. Stage one on the right, drifting back away from stage two, continuing to power Dragon into space. This view from the second stage ignition. This view from the second stage of the Falcon 9, showing the engine has ignited. And that's the first stage, heading back toward the ground, just miles away from the launch pad. First stage is conducting a boost burn. About 10 seconds remaining in that burn. Dragon nose cone deploy. Meanwhile, the Dragon nose cone has deployed exposing the Trajectory Dragon nominal. spacecraft to space. Boost back shutdown. Boost back burn shutdown. This view again from the second stage. Everything proceeding normally with both first and second stage operations of the Falcon 9. First stage continues to fly upward, of signal Bermuda. reaching its apogee in about 10 seconds before it makes its descent toward Earth. About four and a half minutes after launch, everything continues normally. The second stage engine uh, will continue burning for about another five minutes.
Falcon 9 first stage, counting down toward its entry burn in about a minute and a half. You can see thrusters uh, firing to control the first stage as it makes its way back toward Earth. Once again, to land at uh, Cape Canaveral Air Force Station Landing Zone 1, accompanied by a sonic boom for those who are in the area. Five and a half minutes after launch, everything continues to go normally for the Falcon 9 first stage and for the second stage and Dragon spacecraft. Have acquisition at New Hampshire. New Hampshire tracking station, now tracking the vehicle. Less than 30 seconds away from the first stage entry burn. Landing of the first stage, scheduled in about 1 minute 45 seconds. And we have the entry burn entry underway. Burn. And the entry burn has entry ended. Shut down. Stage two, still on nominal trajectory. Stage two, still on course for its rendezvous with the International Space Station. Stage two engine Stage cutoff about two and a half minutes away from now. Stage one about to come back subsonic about 45 seconds away from landing transonic stage one is transonic landing burn about to begin s1 landing burn landing legs will be deployed in about 15 seconds And a sonic boom felt throughout the Kennedy Space Center and Cape Canaveral Air Force Station area as Falcon 9 first stage landing legs deploy returns to Cape Canaveral Air Force Station landing zone one. LZ-1, the Falcon has landed. Landing operators move into procedure 11.100 section three on LZ-1 net. Meanwhile, Dragon spacecraft, powered by the Falcon 9 second stage, continues on its way to orbit with a uh, second stage engine cutoff expected in about one minute. Everything is proceeding per the timeline. 40 seconds away from second stage engine cutoff. Stage two is under terminal guidance. Stage two AFTS is saved. Nine minutes after launch. Everything continues to go well. Second stage burn is about to end. And spacecraft separation about one minute away. Okay, Seco. Seco, second stage engine cutoff confirmed. GNC confirms good orbit insertion. Guidance navigation and control officer Confirms good orbit insertion. Dragon separation confirmed. Dragon is on its way to the International Space Station. And Dragon is on its way to the International Space Station. Looking inside the Mission Control Center in Hawthorne, California, where uh, SpaceX is headquartered. Great uh, 
mission so far. The Dragon is on its way to the space station, controlled by the International Control International Space Station Control Center in Houston, Texas. Standing away, uh, standing by for solar array deploy of the Dragon spacecraft. Dragon separation confirmed. And there's Dragon separation. That will be followed by the solar array deploy in about a minute. Ten and a half minutes after launch. Stage one back on the ground. Stage two just deploying the Dragon spacecraft toward the International Space Station. Flight controllers in Mission Control Houston monitoring today's launch and the flight of Dragon as it makes its way toward a Wednesday rendezvous with the International Space Station with a grapple plan for approximately 7 a.m. Eastern Time. Six crew members aboard the International Space Station waiting for the rendezvous. and for the contents of the Dragon spacecraft that will uh, help them pursue science and provide them with resupply as well. Dragon's propulsion system has successfully primed and thrusters are ready for firing. Dragon is in solar array deploy. And solar array deploy is, uh, is underway uh, for the Dragon spacecraft. So everything is uh, going normally today. Uh, good launch, good spacecraft separation, and now solar array deploy, Josh. And as Dragon unfurls its solar wings, the spacecraft continues its journey to the International Space Station. Dragon will arrive at the station on Wednesday. NASA television coverage will begin at 5.30 a.m. for the expected capture at 7 a.m. And so with the successful launch and deploy of the Dragon and its journey to the International Space Station underway, that will wrap up our coverage from Falcon Launch Control.